This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Wednesday, April 4, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery and water vapor analysis shows only light precipitation occurring in British Columbia, Alberta, and the province of Quebec. Water vapor lines are currently moving through Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton, and those are the cities of highest concern for potential fallout. On Thursday, the risk increases for southern Saskatchewan. In the U.S., Alaska continues to be grazed by the jet stream, and Hawaii is clear. HPC quantitative rainfall for the next 72 hours shows excessive rain for Iowa, Montana, Kentucky, Tennessee, and North and South Carolina, as well as the southeast coast of Texas and Galveston Island. As water vapor bands will be passing through these areas, they are all considered high risk, as well as any areas in northern New England on Thursday. In Europe, Europe continues to contend with not only Fukushima fallout and possible reactor problems in France, but the methane well releases in the North Sea. The winds from this well will travel across the southern half of the UK and northern coastal regions of France, especially west of Paris, over the next 24 to 36 hours. As these areas have forecasts of rainfall, please consider this very high risk. Other regions calling for precipitation are Scandinavia, Estonia, Spain, South France, Italy, and all areas south of Germany, especially Albania and Greece. Nuke Report Rosemont Nuke Plant in Minnesota had pressure transmitters that were found to have an out-of-tolerance condition. The report continues that it was concluded a substantial safety hazard may exist. It is recommended by the NRC that the following nuke plants all check these parts in their plants immediately. Calvert Cliffs, Millstone, Hope Creek, Salem, Catawba, Crystal River, Farley, Oconee, St. Lucie, Vogtel, Watts Bar, Braidwood, Davis Bessie, Cook, LaSalle, Point Beach, Arkansas Nuclear One, Comanche Peak, Diablo Canyon, Palo Verde, San Onofre, South Texas Project, Waterford, and Wolf Creek. And a fuel cycling facility, Honeywell Uranium Production in Illinois, a worker was injured and found to be contaminated with uranium ore concentrates. He was treated and sent home. Please contact your local news affiliate to cover these stories if you live by any of the mentioned plants. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.